Okay, these are my favorite shoes at the moment. I'll tell you why. Oh, actually, you can see exactly why. Dollar. I think I'm ready to start. Hey darling, welcome back to my YouTube channel where everything is absolutely rainbow. I am Sitems and today on this video, as you can already see, this background is brand new on this channel because I'm so tired of the wall and also the sound bounces weirdly. So I just thought to myself, you know what, I'm not going to wait till I have this whole studio shebang happening. And then we are within because I really want to transition my uh, channel beautifully in terms of what I'm going to be doing now, which is the thrift haul. And I want you to be able to see the clothes as I'm talking about them. Yebo! Yeah, if you are a darling that follows me on Instagram already, you will know my odd taste in fashion, but at the same time, it does work for me. Anyway, fashion is very important to me. It's one of those artistic forms that I think in my life I've used as a voice because once I dress a certain way, I don't have to say much because it's quite clear if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going to take you through my journey and we're going to start at the thrift hall, which is like a basic, um, a basic side or, an, or another side of me because the nana in Mali are and thrifting is cost effective. Before we get right into the video, I was gonna ask to those brand new faces that has never been here, don't forget to subscribe down below and click that bell button so that you can get your instant notifications whenever Sitems does upload. Also, we are on our road, I, also, I almost said root, like root, road to 1000 subbies. Guys, I'm sure we can do this. I am so sure we can do this. Anyway, I'm going to leave it into the hands of the algorithm, darling. So darlings, 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 please do bear with me. Okay, how are we going to do this? Bear with me, please do just share how I can do this better because I'm also just trying it out and I'm just like, I hope it works. Our very first outfit um, for this um, thrift haul as you can see, darling, so the one thing that you will see on this outfit already um, is the jersey that I wore in my previous video. This is the jersey. I love this jersey so much. The thing that I love, obviously it is winter and I want something that's going to give me that warm, cuddly feeling. So this jersey give me that because of the shapes of the jersey and the colours. They're very earthly, very grounded. They're not in your face. They're not summer. It's not yellow and blah, 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 blah. And another detail that I really do like, it's this black um, outlines. I really love this black outlines because they kind of close off the jersey. Then my ultimate favourite, any jersey. I'm a sucker for a gorgeous neck. This black here, round, it's clear what's happening. It's almost as this. I have a very long neck, so I love accentuating it. And jerseys like this bring that vibe about it. And then the other thing, oh, the other thing, oh, this pants, sorry guys, it's not ironed. I was wearing it. That's the thing. I love this pants. I thrifted this pants also last year. That jersey costed me 30 rand. I bought it this year in the last month. This I bought last year. Um, around this time also, but this cost me three rand. Anyway, what I love about this, why I wear such pants, is it's like a it's like a slim fit pants. I really love this. The waist, first of all, I'm not a big girl, so I, I don't I don't like wearing a lot of belts. So when I can find a pants that can just <clears throat> then I'm within. Um, and then also it's easy. It shows the leg. It's not too baggy because that's not the vibe that I'm going for but also it's not too tight there's some sort of cla cla class classy classy kind of feel um, that I love about this pants and I can wear it in different um, ways like it can be casual can be formal 
and there's a unisex kind of vibe about it. I'm not gonna go into the shoes. I know you can see it. I'm gonna go into the shoes after the last um, outfit out of these three. So, darling, let me fetch my other set of clothes. As you can see, my second set also has another jersey, the same as my third one. It, I, I, this thrift haul is very themed around that and jackets, which is my second part of this. I am that person. I love my jerseys and I love my jackets. I also will do a separate video when it comes to coats. Um, but I could crunch all of these things together because it's my very first one and it's sharing my wardrobe. And I'm very curious actually to see what you guys are going to say. First thing, already I'm going to start always with the jerseys. I love this jersey. I love this jersey, especially how it looks on this. I never thought about it in that way. Um, but first of all, again, the color is not in your face, but it's also there. So it's subtly saying, I am in the room, darling. I am not a fan of this neck because it gives me a, a t-shirt kind of vibe. So that's the one thing I don't like about this jersey. But again, I like the detail where it closes the, the jersey where it feels like it's a finish. I'm a sucker for such detail. And... As you can see, the way I wore this jersey, I did tuck it in a little bit because also, I don't like it when it's too straight. I love shape. So, with my... Oh, and that jersey was also 30 Rand, by the way. These pants... Oh, look, these denim high-waisted shorts. Oh, I love... Oh, Betuna! If you are on my IG, you know. You've seen it. I think it's my, like, third year with this. Like, yes, it was my gift from my sister. Um, when I, when, after we matriculated, she was, we went for thrifting, she was like, let's pay, let, let, let's go buy something, sorry, why am I not able to tell the story? I'm actually trying to get to the conclusion of, Cape Town thrifting is ridiculous, pricing wise, Hibetuna, this cost my sister, and not me, 350 Rand, of course I'm a sucker for it, look at that high waist, and and look at what it can possibly do. It, it will bring everything that needs to be brought out. And as you can see, the way I've worn it, the way I've worn it, I've pleated these. I only showed this in summer because of that fresh kind of I'm out there look. But this winter, because I've added these stockings, oh, which were sponsored, I don't know how they how much they cost and they're from. What is this? It's Falk. So, um, the box, it's, it's so this weird, just actually. finishes the look. Oh my gosh. It was never planned. I got this at a random time and I had that jersey. And if, if they all work to go... Yes, and what I love about this, this is actually the most important um, item of that whole look. Because the shorts and the jerseys are not really warm. This is what brings the warmth and the winter kind of feel for me. And then the shoes obviously just clean it up and give it that... I am sitting. That's who I am. I love also that. That's very non-binary. It's a, a look every other boy should try, you know. Obviously, typically girls would have that look. But, I mean, I really love, I would love to see more men dabbling around shorts and stockings and colour stockings. Because let's explore around fashion. Why not? Third and final look. Of course. Jersey again. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. I, I'm, I'm, I feel like you're gonna start seeing the trend here. Um, simple colors, basic, and you, these are not necessarily my favorite colors, but I was thrifting and that's what was available. But I, I will go for such. Um, as you can see, because it's easy, and again, I don't feel like I'm, 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 in, I'm trying to maintain an agenda of being a boy. Nor am I trying to be a girl. It just feels like my energy can comfortably just. You know, oh, be alive within the clothes that I choose. Again, this neck is not as bad as the second one, but it's not as great as the first one. It's not defined, and it's not separate to the actual, um, the rest of the design. So for me, it's like, oh, it's okay, we'll do. But it also, it, it, the neck gives me a very masculine kind of feel that I don't want necessarily here i don't mind it anywhere else but it's it's weird just for this look um but again i also love the the two colors i almost said mono and i would have died and again this jersey is actually not my favorite out of the three because look at this i don't feel like it's finished it feels like it's just a color that just 
Um, and it's like, okay, I will wear you. Um, you're quite safe and you're another 30 rand item that I will keep for now. But sooner or later, we're selling you, darling. Um, then my, one of my favorite thrift thingies that I thrifted the other day. Um, I'm exploring this kind of vibe. I never wear such baggy pants, but at the same time, that has that classy feel. So, again, a sucker for... Let me just close the waist. There we go. A sucker for such waist. If you, no matter how baggy you are, if your waist can do this, which is a trend for all three um, items for all my 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 my, my high-waisted denims, the last khaki pants, and this. The one common thing is the waist. I love waist that's just because I don't like dealing with belts and oh administration. Once I wear you, I wanna be cool. All I need to do is unbutton, then done, then continue with the day. And then of course the interesting part of this pants that I did not show necessarily, I'm gonna see if I can try showing you, it's the rest of the pants. I, I, I never wear such baggy. This is like hiding all my legs, cause I'm also, you know, so it's like, but there's some sort of touch to it that is very attractive to me. So those that are attracted to the darling energy will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Then of course, Oh, you're probably dying just like I did when I saw them. I was like, you belong to Satan's darling. They belong to me. Okay, the thing about the shoes, what I like about them, I have never really owned such a beautiful pair of white shoes. And also, I've always been so anti this like I don't know how many centimeters is that but yeah I'm over that I do love wearing very high heels and I'm gonna continue doing that but there's some sort of elegance or with the shoe and even as you walk coops 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 and it's like I hope you took the shot darling because it's the very last time you're seeing such fabulosity and one, that's basically the first part of my thrift haul. I could have made another video, I know, but I just want to crunch this one because th the reason I didn't want to make this one separate because I thought that was going to be too short. Anyway, this is still an introduction and I feel like this is also a beautiful way of sharing my jersey slash jacket collection so that you kind of get the energy because from here we can only grow and with your comments and your verbs, I will obviously understand your kind of way that you want to see it but my wardrobe is obviously not going to change but it will evolve with more of this so let's get to the second batch oh, the very first one is my favorite new collection and the darling family darling the darling family oh jayval 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 control yourself okay as you can see, I have a new... I love this. I love everything about it. The color is perfect and the fact that you can get your waist on in place. <laughs> the only thing that I obviously hate is, is that it's so... It's really light and it's really not warm. Um, but in terms of fashion, I'm a sucker. Those kind of arms, they go in, that's detail. It kind of separates the, the whole big baggy kind of feel that, which I like, but it separates it from my hand, which is going to be holding a phone or it's going to be working. So I love that. And then another thing, woo, another detail that I really love is the top part. I'm going to try and zoom it in because I didn't think about that. I love the top part and I also love the, the, the buttons. You know what? This jersey is ultimate. When you go to the mall, which I've done it quite a few times, this is the jersey that says, you are not forgetting that queer boy that was walking down that aisle as he was strutting one, two, three. He was just selling it. It costed me 60 Rand, um, and I'm not gonna even sell that one. Oh, my daughter. My daughter needs to wear that. I will keep it. Then our second jacket is the 
I think it, it yeah, amongst all of these, there's, oh, there's four all together. So this is the second one out of the four. Woo! This one is the oldest. It has a story behind it. I bought it in Thailand um, when I went there with my mom. Babes, this jacket was actually an introduction to negotiation for me because when I heard the price, I was like, you? But at the same time, I'm like, darling, Sitems wants, Sitems gets. So, yeah, I remember having to negotiate the price from, so in Thailand, they use bahts. When you translate it, then it was still half. So in South African, if, if you had 250, you had 500 bahts there. So they were charging me a thousand bahts, which is basically 500 rand for this jacket. It's gorgeous, it was handmade. I respect the art, the work, but I'm also an artist and I would... So it's a matter of where can we meet together where I will wear this with love, I'll wear it with love. And the greatest thing about it also is that you can wear it the other way around. I didn't even sell it to you guys. Oh, you know what? Again, you can see the trend. This jacket allows me to also the waist. And then what I love also about it is these elephants. They don't give me Africa vibes because I know as an African, elephants are not Africa vibes. But I really do like the detail though that, that has been put here. Also, since I bought it in Thailand, I know elephants are very sacred, um, a sacred member of the family in terms of their uh, spiritual beliefs so i also know it wasn't an african kind of approach it was way more um hindu verbs um so yes i love her she's very special to me and she was thrifted because i didn't buy her at a commercial space and i had to the the negotiation process of it will never leave my head the fact that after it being worth 500 from them i ended up paying 100 rand that for me is business because it was 1000 bahts and then i went down to 200 bahts if you want to learn how to negotiate Comment on the box below, darling. Speak to me, I will help you because, ha, this is the time to work on that skill. And let's do something about it. Anyway, the second last jacket that I have, this, she's one year old. Oh, oh babes, one, eh? And she was thrifted also. I mean, things that you thrift, oh, so special. So she's one year old and she, we have a lot of stories actually together from late nights to x x x x x what i love about this jacket it, it's personality it's big it hides me i kind of just but also it's a magical jacket listen manela there's verbs pocket number one i don't even i haven't even counted them there's a pocket here number two there's a pocket here number three there's a pocket here number four. There's a pocket here number five. Ooh, you're right, Kani. Six. And then there's some hidden seven. And then there's this thing that holds. What can I say? You, you kind of tie it after you, before you zip so that the, the wind doesn't um, go in. I'm, I'm, I'm not selling this jacket, actually. I'm just telling you my fascination with it. I don't even know what number, because this side, you just double that, because it's exactly, it's duplication, it's just more pockets, it's more zips, it's big, my hand is literally dying, it's heavy, it's everything, I'm so hot, oh my god! Okay, that is a bit dramatic. Um, she was thrifted for 100 rand, or 60 rand, in between i'm not sure but this was last year um i got her with a yellow one i'm gonna see if i can get that picture for you together for like a hundred rand so i suppose it was 50 rand each because i got them 100 rand yes you can't obviously match this to anything that you've seen and it doesn't matter my vibe is it feels good when i wear it so it has this verb about it it has this underneath thing where you can also add your nail and you still have access to your phone and da 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 da. It is quite a little bit warm. I mean, it's, it's, for its price, it's worth everything. 
The final, the last one. She's a new one. I'm not necessarily sure how I feel about her, but I'm gonna show you because the color, I think that's why I bought it. And also it was very cheap. It was 50 Rand. Um, oh, it's this jacket. I mean, it has a, a edge of something with it, it clean and it's not, I'm trying to be seen. It's just, I'm trying to be warm and it's not even warm. It's very, oh, it's very light. I don't know how I feel about it, but again, the arms work, sucker for that. And yes, I can't bring it in, but look at that back. I know if I'm walking on the streets, there's gonna be that feeling. So I suppose sometimes it's knowing the effect of the jacket and it's not necessarily looking at minutely because a lot of these things, some of them I connect with it on a minute basis where when I see it just, oh, it gives you a feeling. So I can imagine myself being next to a person, then it's like, but this jacket, maybe I'll wear it when I'm not gonna see a lot of people, but at the same time, at the same time will have a stems effect, whatever that is. These are my favorite shoes at the moment. I'll tell you why. Oh, actually, you can see exactly why. Gorgeous, darling. I'm gonna name you darling also because you deserve the title. She is wonderful. She is leather and it's not something that was bought now. I'm obviously not supporting animal cruelty at all, but it's a very, very classic old shoe and I did not buy it, it was a gift. Um, a Valentine's gift um, from one of my neighbors. I was shooting a TikTok and that's how we met. She was just like, wow, you are so fabulous, darling. I have shoes for you that I'm no longer wearing, but it seems like if you do, darling. And that's the whole story. I can go deeper because the story continues. It's glorious. It's beautiful. But yes, that's the shoe. I love, what I love about it is that it is comfortable, but not for the, no, no, not for too long. You can wear it for something around like five hours to six, not the whole day. Um, it's not the height. It's the leather. It gets too hot. And also it just gets a little bit uncomfortable when you've been wearing it. It's not fully worn. Um, and I like that about it. It's not it's not too worn, but it's also not too rigid. So it is wearable But it, it's for special moments of life. I won't lie I've been wearing it quite a lot at home just for the feeling and the motivation It is locked down and you need to give yourself The best company OMG! I feel like I've just finished my first thrift haul. Yes, I've just done that I don't know how it was, I've watched quite a few, but this is how I'm doing it and this is how I want to progress and see how I can share my fashion um, journey and really what each item and why I go a certain route when it comes to my fashion choices. Um, because for me, it's not just about wearing a combo of that and that. There's a story all the time. And thank you so much get, for get. watching this thrift haul. I do appreciate it. I have a question for you though. Which of these outfits did you like the most and why? Why, 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 why? I did have some combos that were not necessarily my fave and not normal, but I'm also still learning about my fashion sense. I'm still learning with also what's available in thrift stores because hey, the tuna, you don't go there and see exactly what you want, especially in Johannesburg. You have to kind of work a little bit extra um, to find the clothes compared to Cape Town, but Cape Town's also more expensive, so I'm willing to work for the clothes. Anyway, Lela, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe down below, click that bell button so that you can get your instant notifications whenever I do upload. And hop on my socials. Before you hop on my socials, just go on my description box. You will see as much as you need to see. And from there, you can make a decision if it's gonna be the next video that you watch, or you're going on my social, or you're just gonna join the family. If you're brand new and this is your very first video, Darling.